come to a seated position. If you have your block there, have a sit down on your block. <clears throat> ah, thank you for being here today for yoga. We're going to focus on a yoga to lift our spirits and make us nice and optimistic and positive today. So we'll be doing quite a few inversions and things to help us see the world from a different angle. So coming into your comfortable seated position, lifting up your spine like there's a thread or a cord going up through your spine and out through the top of your head. So you've got a nice tall spine and you can either rest your hands on your knees or you can bring left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. I invite you to close your eyes and let's take six deep breaths and notice the rise and fall on your chest and your belly. So nice big deep breath in, pause and nice long breath out. Welcome, Gilda. Three more deep breaths here. Noticing the earth underneath your feet and underneath your bottom supporting you in your yoga practice today. So our theme for today is to lift our spirits and lift our optimism. And we're going to be doing a few inversions to help us see the world in a different way. One more deep breath. And rest your hands on your knees. I invite you to keep your eyes closed and just notice how you're feeling, scanning your body. Notice if there's any tight bits there. Notice how your mind is. Try and leave the busyness of your morning behind. And then let's come into a child's pose. So having your knees about mat width apart, and bring your bottom down to your heels. And then slide your hands forward and bring your forehead down to the mat. Just wriggle your hips a little bit to get you nice and low. And let's take some deep breaths and thinking about the theme of our practice, which is optimism and lifting our spirits. Connecting with the lower back and the shoulders. Each time you exhale, allow your body to surrender a little more into the pose. Giving your lower back a nice stretch. And then coming back up onto all fours. We're going to do some alternate leg lifts. As we inhale, we're going to lift up our left leg and point the toes down to the mat, squeezing the buttocks. And then exhale, bring the knee back down. Inhale, lift up the right leg, squeeze the buttocks, pushing the heel away from you. And down. Let's keep going from side to side. Hi, Julianne. Let's add in some arms. So when you land your knees, land the knees nice and wide. Next inhalation, lifting up the left leg and extending out through the right, right hand, pushing through the heel and the fingertips and exhale, bring the hand and knee down. Inhale, go to the other side. So really pushing the heel back, extending through the fingertips on the left hand and exhale back down. Let's do a couple more rounds. I have one more each side. And coming down, bringing your body down to the mat and bring the hands just underneath your shoulders. 
the tops of your feet resting on the ground. We're going to inhale, we're going to lift up through the chest and squeeze our buttocks into cobra pose. And exhale, lower, lower the body back down to the floor. Still a few more rounds. So inhale, lifting up through the chest, squeezing the buttocks, pushing through the hands. And exhale back down. Let's go two more rounds. And then coming back up onto your knees. And we're going to do a little flow between child's pose and upper dog. As you exhale, bring your bottom down to your heels into child's pose. And inhale, walk your fingers a little bit forward, bringing the hips forward and lifting up through the chest, connecting with a stretch through the front of the hips. And then exhale back down into child's pose. And then inhale, come back up to upward dog. Let's go two more rounds. Just go at your own pace, using your breath to initiate the movement. And then coming back to tabletop if you've got socks on you might want to take the socks off now before we go to downward dog so you don't slip so we're going to inhale lift up through the hips tuck our toes under and press our heels down towards the mat and let's take a few de deep breaths here in down downward dog connecting with a stretch down the back of the legs the lower back and the shoulders Two more breaths here and come back to the theme of our practice, which is about lifting our spirits and creating more optimism. We're doing, this is an inversion and just looking at the world from a different angle. And then taking our feet wide, as wide as you can, walk your hands up underneath you and we're coming into a wide legged forward bend. Allow the crown of your head to point down to the mat. And just allow your arms to bend, connecting with the stretch through the back of the legs and the lower back. And let's take four deep breaths here. You can fold your arms if you like. So you hang a little more, you get a little bit more stretch through the lower back and the legs. One more breath. And then bring your hands to the mat, walk them forward, lift the chest and stretch through the back. And heel toe your feet a little closer, nice bend in your knees and come up to standing. Let's give our legs and arms a little shake. Okay, so let's inhale, lift our arms up over our head into mountain pose. And exhale, go to one side. Stretching through the opposite side. Inhale, bring your body back to center and exhale to the other side. Just moving our spine from side to side, stretching the side of our body. And then coming back to centre, bring our feet a little closer together. And we're going to inhale, stretch up nice and tall, and exhale, fold forward. So this is a forward fold, but with our legs close together. And then inhale, slight bend in the knees. Bring your arms up, come back up to mountain pose. Reaching up towards the sky, and then exhale, folding forward. Bring your fingertips down towards the mat. Try and keep your legs fairly straight. Inhale, slight bend in the knees. Come back up to standing, reaching up into mountain pose. Reaching for the ceiling and exhale, fold forward. And last round, inhale. 
come up to standing, reaching up and relax. Spin your shoulders a little roll. We'll do some balancing poses next. So opening up the toes on the right foot and move your hips in a little circle, feeling the anchor points under the right foot. Let's pick up the left foot and bring it in front of the right knee. Hands to heart centre and find yourself a drishti point, a slight bend in the right knee and bring your chest slightly forward. So we're coming into a tree pose that also stretches through the left glute and the left ITB. Let's take a couple of breaths here and just notice that stretch through the left glute and ITB and notice in the right ankle, the little stabilizers all coming into play. One more breath and then come back up to standing. Give your legs a shake. Let's go to the other side. So opening up the toes on the left foot, circle your hips and notice the anchor points underneath the left, big toe, little toe and heel. Find your drishti point, bending the right knee and bring the right ankle just above the left knee, hands to heart center, bending the left knee and bring the chest slightly forward till you feel that stretch through the right glute and the right ITB. And it's coming into some nice deep breaths here. Nice and balanced. Not much movement, one more breath. And come back up to standing, give your legs a little shake. Let's do a couple of rounds of sun salute. So we come to the top of the mat, bring our feet next to each other, and we're gonna inhale, lift our arms up, reach up to mountain pose, exhale, fold forward, and then step back into plank. You can put your knees on the ground here if you wish, and then as you exhale, slowly lower your body down to the mat, and put the tops of your feet on the mat. Inhale, lift up through the chest, pressing through the hands, into upward dog and then tuck your toes under, exhale to downward dog. Looking forward and then step forward into forward bend. Exhale, hug your knees into your chest and inhale, lift up through the chest and come up to standing, up to mountain pose. Hands back to heart center. Let's do one more round. Inhale, reaching up to mountain pose. Exhale, fold forward. Step back to plank. And slowly lower your body down to the mat. Untuck your toes. Inhale, lift up through the chest, pressing through the hands to upward dog. Tuck your toes under. Come to downward dog. Looking forward and then step forward. Lifting up through the chest. And as you breathe in, exhale as you hug your knees in to your chest. Inhale, come all the way back up to mountain pose. Hands back to heart center. Okay, let's come to the back of the mat. I invite you just to bring your hands to heart center. And close your eyes just for a moment. Come back to your breathing. And come back to the theme of the practice, which is raising our vibration and raising our optimism and happiness. So we're going to step forward with the right foot. Inhale, lift up through the chest, raising our hands, looking up and feel the stretch through the left hip. Exhale, fold forward, bring your hands behind you, lengthen out the right leg, lift the hands up off the lower back into humble warrior. Let's take a couple of breaths here, looking up, and then exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. If you have a block, place your right hand on the block next to your right foot, and then inhale, lift up the left hand into triangle pose. 
looking up to the left thumb. Let's take a few breaths here and connect with the stretch through the back of the right leg as well as the chest. One more breath. And then exhale, bring the left hand down to the mat and inhale, come back up to standing and step back. Give your legs a little shake. And that step forward with the left foot. Inhale, lift up our arms, lift our chest, raise our gaze, bending our left knee, reaching up nice and tall and connect with the stretch through the right hip. Let's take a couple of breaths here. And then exhale, folding forward, lengthening out the left leg, bring the hands behind you, lift up through the chest, squeeze through the shoulders, lengthening out the left leg into humble warrior. One more breath. And then release your hands down to the mat. Left hand on the block next to your left foot. Inhale, lift up the right hand, looking up to the right thumb. So opening up through the chest, feel that twist in the chest and a nice stretch through the left hamstrings. Let's take a few breaths here. And then exhale, bring the right hand down to the mat and slowly come up to standing. Nice, give it a little shake. Everyone okay? Just give me a thumbs up. Yep, good, okay. Next one we're gonna do is a yogi squat. So we're gonna come, have our feet about hip width apart, toes pointing out, and we're gonna come into a nice deep squat. You can bring your hands down to the mat and then bring them to heart center, have your chest up nice and tall. And use your, el your elbows to press out against your knee. So it's a really nice hip opening. Let's take a few breaths here. One more breath. And then release your hands down to the mat and bring your knees down to the mat as well. And from here, we're going to do a pigeon pose. So we're gonna take our left knee forward, lift up the right knee and bring the left foot to the right side of the mat and then slide the right leg back a little bit. So you should be feeling a nice stretch through the left glute. So you can stay here if you want, or you can come down lower. So this one's good for anyone who has any stiffness in the lower back. So this helps to release the glute area to Allow the lower back to um, release any tightness you might have. Let's take a couple more breaths here. And then come back up onto your palms and uncross your leg, bring the both knees together again. This time take the right knee forward and lift up the left knee, bring the left foot to the right foot to the left side of the mat, slide the left back leg back a little bit till you feel a little bit more stretch in the right glute. And then you can stay up on your palms or you can come down lower onto your forearms. I invite you to close your eyes here and connect with that stretch through the right glute and take some nice deep breaths. I'm just noticing how this feels compared to the other side. One more breath. And then coming back up onto your palms and come back to tabletop. From here, we're gonna do one more opening up of the lower back area. We're gonna do lizard pose. So we'll pick up our right foot and bring our right foot next to our right hand. Slide the left leg back a little bit. So you feel the stretch through the left hip. And then we're gonna inhale. Lift up the right hand, coming into Twisted Lizard. So you're getting a nice stretch through the left hip, as well as opening up the whole hips and stretch through the chest. Exhale, bring the right hand down, come back to tabletop, and then we'll go to the other side. So step the left foot next to the left hand, slide the right knee back a little, so you're in Lizard. 
connecting with a stretch through the right hip. You can stay here or you can inhale, lift up the left hand and look up into Twisted Lizard. Take a couple of breaths. And then release the left hand back down to the mat. And let's take it to child's pose just to rinse our back out a little bit. So bring the buttocks down to the heels, bring the forehead down to the mat. Just walking your fingertips forward and just notice how you're feeling this time in child's pose as to how you felt at the beginning of the practice. Hopefully you can get your forehead a little closer to the mat and your hips and lower backs freed up a little. So coming back to the theme of our practice. So we're lifting our mood. Bringing all the positive vibes in. Let's take two more breaths here. And then let's flip over onto our back. Oh no, before we do that, let's go to butterfly. So we're sitting with our knees out wide, bring our feet close to our base. If you've got your block handy, you can actually lift up and sit on a block if you want. Just to lift the hips up a little bit, makes it a little bit more comfortable. And then bring the, the feet right close to your base. Bring your hands to your feet and you can use your elbows to press a little bit against your legs or your knees and feel that nice stretch through the groin area. Lifting up through the spine. Let's take a couple more breaths here. And then release. And coming down off your block with your feet in front and your feet flex so your toes are pointing back towards you. Let's inhale, raise our arms, raise our chest, looking up. Exhale, fold forward and bring your hands down to your feet, your ankles or your shins, gazing towards your big toes and noticing the stretch through the hamstrings and the lower back. And then release your hands. We're gonna bend our left knee and bring our left foot to the outside of the right knee. Put the right hand on the left knee and left hand behind you. So we're gonna to twist to the left side looking over our left shoulder. So you're getting a nice twist through the spine and a bit more stretch through the left glute. You notice this one here, you get a bit of a massage through the digestive system. So if you just had your lunch, it's probably not the best. And then release, come back to the front and swap your legs over. Bring the right foot next to the left knee, left hand on the right knee, right hand behind you looking over the right shoulder and bring the right knee towards the left side of the body, connecting with a stretch through the right glute. And again, notice the massage through the internal organs. One more breath and then release, come back to the front. This time we're gonna bend our left knee and bring our sole of our foot up next to the upper right leg, lift up so you're up on your sit bones, flexing the right foot, inhale, lift up your arms and exhale, fold forward. You might be able to reach your toes or your ankle or your shin, looking towards the right toes. The left knee hopefully is down near the ground. If it's not, you can place your block under it to support it a little bit. Let's take a couple more breaths here. and then release and we'll swap over to the other side. So we're gonna bring our right foot right up into the left, top of the left leg, lift up so you're up on your sit bones, nice tall spine. Inhale, lift your arms up and exhale, fold forward, flexing the left foot. And notice how this side feels compared to the other side. Notice where the knee is and notice where your hands rest. Usually one side's tighter than the other. 
Just take one more breath. And then release. And bring the right foot out in front. Give your legs a little shake. Come up onto your sit bones again. Flexing your feet. Inhale, lift up your arms, looking up, reaching up towards the ceiling. Exhale, fold forward. And hopefully you've got a bit more flexibility this time. Bring your hands down to your toes or your ankles or your shins, gazing towards the toes. So we're lengthening out through the back of the legs, stretching our back and shoulders. Two more breaths. And then release. Give your legs a little shake and then come onto your back with your knees bent. Bring your heels close to your buttocks. And let's inhale, lift up through the hips and bring our arms up over our head, pushing through our heels, we're coming to a bridge. Nod your chin into your chest and then exhale. Slowly bring your spine back down to the mat and bring your hands back over and next to your hips again. Bring your heels in a little closer to your buttocks. Inhale, lift up. Push through the heels, squeeze the buttocks, lift the hips up. As you inhale, bring your arms overhead to the ground behind your head. Heels and then exhale slowly down. Do two more at your own pace using your breath to initiate the movement. And last one. And then hug the knees up to the chest and just roll in a little circle, rinsing out any tightness you might have in the lower back. And we were doing it Back bend before, so now we're bending our spine in the other direction. Let's reach through the inside of our knees and hold on to the outside edge of your feet and then lift the feet up so the soles of your feet are pointing up towards the ceiling or the sky, flattening out your back into happy baby pose. Let's take a few breaths here. I invite you to close your eyes, do another check, scan of your body, noticing how you're feeling. Noticing any colors in your mind screen as your eyes are closed. And then release your hands, bring your feet down to the mat. Let's take our hands so they're straight out from our shoulders, our knees are bent, our feet are flat on the ground. And we're going to Exhale and bring our knees to the left side as we gaze towards the right side. Doing a twist down the right side of the body. And then inhale, bring the knees to centre, nose to centre. Exhale, knees to the right as you gaze towards the left. Take a couple of breaths here and notice a stretch down the left side of the body. And then come back to centre. This time, lift your feet up off the floor. So you hug your knees to your chest. Just rock your body from side to side. So the knees are nice and close to the chest. And then release your hands back to the floor, but keep the knees at the chest. And let's do the same twist, but with our feet up off the floor. So you've noticed it's a little bit more tense. So exhale, bring the knees to the right as you gaze to the left. Just controlling your knees and noticing how much more intense that stretch is. If you can keep your shoulders on the mat, you'll also feel the stretch through your chest. Take a couple of breaths. And then inhale, bring your knees to centre. And exhale, knees to the left as you gaze to the right. Try to keep those shoulders on the mat and control the knees as they come across. Notice the stretch down the right side of the body and through the chest. A couple of breaths here. And then inhale, bring the knees to centre, hug your knees to your chest and circle that around one way and then the other way.
From here, let's go to our legs up position. So this is another inversion, which is really great for your positive outlook. So we're going to either bring our legs up against a wall or some furniture, or you can place a block under your lower back to support you, or you can come into shoulder stand, whatever feels right for you today. So as you inhale, lift your feet up. If you're coming into shoulder stand, using your hands to support your hips, we'll bring your elbows slightly closer together. Let's do some circles with our ankles. Give our legs a little shake. Coming back to the breath. And then taking your feet out wide. Continue focusing on your breath. Bending your knees and bringing the soles of your feet together like a butterfly. And then lift your feet up high in the air again. You can leave them here or you can take them over your head towards the ground behind your head into plow pose. And then feeling that stretch through the spine. You release your hands from your hips down to the mat. Take a couple more breaths here. And the next inhalation, slowly lower your spine down to the mat. And then come into a comfortable position for Savasana. If you have your socks available, you can pop the socks back on. If you have a blanket, you can pop your blanket over you to make sure you stay nice and warm. And we're just going to have a nice little Savasana just relaxing into the energy of the earth. And inviting you to close your eyes. Noticing all the touch points of your body against the earth. Your heels, the back of your legs, your lower back upper back, your head, backs of your arms. Allow your body to feel heavy, sinking into the mat, sinking into the support of the earth's energy. Just coming back to your breathing and enjoying all the beautiful yogic energy that you have cultivated through your practice allowing you to gently rest here in a yogic bliss.
Slowly coming back to your breath. Wiggling your fingers and toes. And reaching out through the fingertips and the feet. Noticing the floor beneath you before you open your eyes. It's knowing where the windows and the ceiling is in the room that you're in. When you're ready, slowly roll to one side. Taking a few more breaths here, just resting. I have a yoga quote for you while you rest about optimism. Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. When you're ready, come to a comfortable seated position and bring your hands to heart centre. Thank you all for being here today, lifting your own vibration and your own positiveness and mood and for all of us in the group and everybody around you. Let's bring our hands to our forehead for kind thoughts, to our lips for kind words, and to our heart for a kind heart. Namaste. Thank well you. done, everyone. Good. How'd you go? Wonderful. Excellent. Ah.